Hey everybody, Gage here from Sharp. Excited to have you with me for a new, new arrivals video. In today's episode, we are talking about these beautiful new knives that we got in from Niigata Hamono. We have some really cool stuff to check out, uh, so let's get right into it. First, first off, we're going to talk about the Tsuchime Santoku 180 millimeters in length. Um, all five of the knives that we have in uh, have these beautiful Western style uh, maple handles on them. The uh, steel type on all of them is R2. Um, this is the only one that we got in with the Tsuchime finish. The rest of them have a beautiful black Damascus finish on them, which I'm going to show you in a second here. But talking about uh, this knife specifically, uh, balance point is a little far back. It's like, it's, and it's kind of hard to get my finger in where it needs to be. Oh, right about there. So a little further back than your pinch grip, but it's still a very nicely balanced knife. Feels really good in the hand. Um, the, the, the great thing about all of these knives and across the board is the fit and finish on them is pretty well as perfect as you're gonna find. Obviously, perfect is unattainable, but uh, these are very, very nicely finished. The spines are beautifully sanded down. They're very, very nice and smooth. Um, full tang on these guys, so they come all the way down um, into the butt end of the handle, um, sanded beautifully the whole way. There's no sharpness anywhere, uh, very smooth, no gaps or anything, very, very nicely done, um, and kind of to be expected at the price point that these knives are going to fall at. Um, very similar to um, all of their work, the edge geometry on these knives is spectacular as well. They get super, super thin behind the edge. Um, all the blades are nice and nice and straight. Um, so really, really happy with all these guys. This, uh, this 180 is beautiful. Uh, the Tsuchime finish is really, really unique. It's uh, kind of like these cool hexagons, um, sort of like all over the place. It looks really, really awesome. Um, so yeah, there's the first one. The next one we're gonna check out are the uh, Keritsuke style Gyutas that we have in. 210 millimeters and 240 millimeters. Um, both with those Western style maple handles on them. Fit and finish is just as good on these guys as it is on the 180 millimeter Santoku that I showed you. These guys have a beautiful Damascus pattern on them, referred to by Niigata Hamono as their Anmon Damascus pattern. It was originally developed by the seventh generation Smith and current head honcho at Niigata Hamono, Toshiju Yoshizawa. His son, Tsuyoshi Yoshizawa, is the eighth generation Smith and the current head blacksmith right now. So he's uh, in control of producing all of the knives. He works with a team of uh, himself and two other apprentices to make all these beautiful knives. Uh, his father is now more um, in charge of the structural steel component of their business. Um, but again, he was the one who originally developed the Anmon Damascus pattern and he was inspired by the Anmon Falls, which is found just outside the city of uh, Hirosaki, which is close to where Niigata Homono is located. Um, Niigata Homono is located at the northern part of Honshu, which is the main island of Japan. Um, and they make beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, again, like I said on the, on the uh, Santokus, the edge geometry on these guys is spectacular as well. Um, really, really nice looking and feeling knives. The balance point on the 240 is right about there, which is very, very nice. Maybe it's still a little further back than what would typically be my taste, but certainly not bad. Very nice. And then finally, the last two knives we're gonna check out are some Sujihikis that we got in. Really excited about these guys. Our Sujihiki selection is uh, not the strongest it's been right now, so excited to have some new stuff uh, in that section. We've got the 270 millimeter Sakimaru uh, Sujihiki. Um, Sakimaru just refers to the style of the tip, so rather than sort of um, the, the more gradual um, curve down towards the tip, it curves up. Really, really cool looking knife. And then the 255 millimeter Kuritsuke style Sujihiki. Um, again, that just refers to the shape of the tip where it angles aggressively down here. Um, so yeah, really, really beautiful knives here as well. Um, I, uh, I'm really excited to have these all in. We have a lot more Niigata stuff on the way, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but yeah, there, there you have it guys, some new stuff from Niigata Hamono. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions about these knives, uh, shoot us a comment down below or uh, hit us up on the live chat on the website. These are all up on the site already, uh, so go check them out. Link will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to uh, ch -ch -ch dice up that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more knife-related content. Until the next one, stay sharp.